channel please subscribe like and share and today we're gonna to be doing a firework in a jar and what you'll need in this cool firework in a jar experiment you'll need just food coloring warm water a cup and if you're seeing how much i filled up with warm water this cup three-fourths around three-fourths between like yeah around three-fourths cup not three-fourths cups i mean three-fourths of water like you see this cup just three-fourths of it's full with warm water oil just a little bit of oil you don't need a lot like you can see it's not much right and a fork yes and first what you will do is take your food coloring and put them in your oil yes now i'm going to not add a lot Ooh, that should be good i'm going to probably add more later but i'll first try two to each Two, two. This will be like all colors. Two, two. two. Oops, that one yellow was three. Well, I kind of like the color yellow. It like is like the brightest color. Yeah. Wait. If you're and if you're thinking why these are sinking, not floating, because the food color is more denser than the oil. That's true. But if you see one food coloring is just not as dense. It's probably and if you're wondering why one food coloring's uh, hanging on the top, it's probably because it did not add as much as the others. But otherwise, food coloring is denser, so that's why all the rest is going down. Now let me add a bit more. I feel like I just need a bit more. Cause a yellow is way too bright. And don't add way too much of a color because then we're doing the fireworks to only show one color so add all sorts of colors and yeah now what you need is your fork and like try to push these all the way to the bottom no push to push your fork all the way in you may be wondering if you're also doing this with me that while you're in it you actually mix it pretty good and while you're doing this, you may be wondering that while you're pressing the fork, the food coloring looks like a big balls, just regular bouncy balls. Well, it's yeah. actually supposed to be like water. Yeah. I don't know about that, but I'll, I'll tell Wait, you that they're dense. What is this? It looks like on the Now just gently put it in. Okay. Now let's see. Let's wait. Let's just wait until the fireworks start. It'll take some time. Oh wait, you see a bit of yellow starting? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. You see how it's starting to be fireworks? Whoa! Oh, that's blue. That's blue. Whoa! Aren't these so cool? They're like fireworks. Yeah. Oh. I I saw a green one and a red one launch. Yeah. And now it's turning. If you're wondering, do you see this big uh, thingy on the bottom? It's called the smoke. Because after yeah. any after fireworks, the smoke does come. So yeah. first our fireworks come out and now the smoke. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Oh, and at the top, it's still a bit colorful because what they're still trying to defeat. Oh, and look at the top. All the food curling went on the bottom. Yeah. And if you're thinking, why the food coloring went to the bottom and also if you're new to my channel you're most welcome to subscribe and like and share and you can watch my lots of my other videos yes. i have more than other 40 videos and you can see now at the top that only one food coloring is left it's probably the yellow one that wouldn't go down but now it's just smoke it's, smoke. it's green smoke 
I don't know about the color of the smoke, but it was cool. Yeah. In the beginning, how the fireball is just going down. Like, if you see an actual firework, they shoot a lot at the end, right? But as soon as you start, they're all shooting. It's kind of like a real firework. For example, do you know when you actually go someplace to see a fireworks? They first try to do a fireworks at some time, like first one firework, then let it go down, then wait some time and do another one. That's exactly what happened in this. But instead of going up, the firework went down. Ah. It's just, yeah, and first, obviously, a little bit went, and then a ton went. Yeah. And I hope you like this firework in the dark room. And it was really, really, Fire really cool. cool. Like, I could actually not know you could do a fireworks in the dark. Yeah. And remember before, there was oil in here? Like, you can see at the top, there's the oil. Yeah. Like, honest. so when the oil was in here, you put the food coloring in, right? But did not dissolve so they just went to the bottom so when you put it the oil can go in but if you may be thinking why the oil did not dissolve uh, yeah. if the food coloring did not dissolve in the oil how would the oil dissolve in the water when the water is the most dissolvent most witness i mean the heaviest whatever and anyway let me tell you how it works and when we're putting Look, it I do. and Oh wow. But anyway, now why did this actually happen? Like I told you how it was like a density of the food coloring was more than the oil and the oil density is less than the waters. And why the food coloring made the fireworks in the water, not in the oil? Because on, on the food coloring, although it may be more denser than oil, it's not as dense as water. So while it comes in the water, the water destroys the food coloring and dissolves and while dissolving it creates that cool explosion now if you've been using any other experiments and seeing that as soon as you put the food coloring in the water it just dissolves by itself it's kind of like your own uh firework but you don't even see it while you're mixing it all because you're so used to like yeah. you're mixing it all and they're not many colors they're just one so that's not yeah. a firework this was a firework and, but that's also why this happens and please subscribe like and share and bye, bye.